Okay guys, so this is our situation number 43 for C board exam November 2021. So meron tayong given ng mga dimensions L1, L2, and L3. So ilagay natin. Ang ating L1 ay 1.8 meters. Ang ating L2 ay 1.2. And then ang ating L3 ay 1.8 meters. Then, the rigid bar AD is equivalent to 100 mm wide by 12 mm wide thick. Okay, and strut BC ay 80 mm wide by 80 mm thick. So, yung ating ano, uh, rigid bar AD and strut BC ay parehas na rectangular ang section. Okay, then the allowable bolt shear stress ay 60 mega pascal. So, number one tayo. What is the allowable load, W, kilo newton, if the allowable compressive stress in the strut PC ay 82 megapascal? Yan. So, meron tayong ano, compressive stress dito. So, kung compressive stress yan, ibig sabihin ng ating strut PC ay merong internal force na compressive. Okay? So, sabi niya rito, okay, number 1, uh, kung babalikan kasi natin yung concept ng stress, di ba? Ang stress is equivalent to P over A. Therefore, ang ating uh, force, P is equivalent to stress multiplied by A. So, makukuha natin yung P, okay, for P uh, for BC by multiplying its stress na 82 megapasta multiplied by area. Ang area natin ay 80 multiplied by 10 millimeters. Tapos, i-divide natin ito ng ano? ng uh, 1,000 para maging kilo newton. Kasi newton yung masasolve natin dito. Eh. So, divided by 1,000. So, 65.6. 65.6 kilo newton yung ating force BC. So, pwede naman natin ipunta yun dito. Eh. Dito. Ayan. Force BC na 65.6 kN. Tapos, ito yung reaction ng B. This is BB. Ah, uh, yes. This is pin, na Pin support. This is BH. Okay. This is also pin support. So, this is AH. Ah, uh, AB. Sorry. And this is AH. So, dito sa point B, pwede na tayong ano, mag-metal of joint para makuha yung ano. Uh, ang gusto kong kunin ito kasi is BH. Bakit? Kasi, ang gusto ko, mag-moment ako sa whole structure sa A. Tapos, ang ikot lamang sa A is yung BH saka yung W. So, pag nakuha natin yung BH, makuha na rin natin yung W. Hindi ba? So, at joint B, dito, okay, by summation of forces horizontal, ayan, makuha natin yung BH na kung saan ang ating, ano, BC ay may slope. Okay. Ayan, meron siyang slope. Ang kanyang horizontal ay 1.2. Ang kanyang vertical ay 1.8. So, this is 2.16. 2.16 ang kanyang hypotenuse. Ayan. So, this is vertical and horizontal. Ayan. So, by summation of forces, horizontal is equivalent to 0. To the right is positive. So, BH is to the right, then minus 65.6 multiplied by 1.2 over 2.16 is equivalent to 0. So, makukuha natin ang BH. 65.6 times 1.2 over 2.16. So, 36.44 kilonewton. And then, mag-moment na lang tayo sa whole structure at point A. Yeah. So, clockwise ang W, then multiplied by 1.2 and 1.8, that is 3 meters. Tapos, ang BH is counterclockwise. So, negative 36.44, then multiplied by moment arm na 1.8 is equivalent to 0. So, makukuha natin ngayon yung allowable W natin based on the compressive stress ng BC. So, 36.44 multiplied by 1.8 over 3 meters. So, 21.86.
Okay, so iba yung nakuha natin, no? 21.86 kasi upon checking, napagpalitan ko ating L2 and L3. Ayan. So dito ata yung L2. Tapos dito yung L3. So pagbalik na rin natin. So this is 1.2, this is 1.8. Ayan. So okay tayo dito. Uh, 3 meters, no? Ang mali natin is yung saan? Ah, ito. Ito yan. Kasi 1.8, 1.8 pala yung kanyang slope. So, 1, 1, no? So, this is 1, 1. 1, 1 ang slope. Then, this is square of 2. So, ito, mali ito. Yan. Ito yung mali. So, 1 over square of 2. So, balik natin yung equation natin. Ay, solution natin kanina. Nasaan yan? Ito. So, 1 over square of 2. So, 46.39. So, this is 46.39. So, siguro na malikmata lang kami. Kamali, napagpalitan namin yung L2 and L3. Tapos, so yan, dito. This is equivalent to 46.39. Multiply by 1.8 over 3. So, 27.834 or 27.83. Kilo Newton. Yan. Next, number 2. Find the force in Kilo Newton in the strut BC if the load W is 3.6 naman. And simple lang naman siya. Uh, Mag-moment na lang din tayo sa A. Then, kunin natin yung BH. Tapos, eh, parang pabaliktad lang. Hindi ba? So, mag-moment tayo sa A. Equivalent to 0. Clockwise is positive. So, W na 3.6, then multiplied by 3 meters minus BH multiplied by 1.8. So, equivalent to 0. So, 3.6 multiplied by 1.8 over, ah, sorry, multiplied by 3 over 1.8. So, 6. 6 kN ng BH. So, makukuha natin ngayon yung force natin sa BC. So, by summation of forces horizontal. So, the right is positive. So, 6 kN ng BH, then minus PBC. Then, multiplied by 1 over square root of 2 is equivalent to 0. So, ano lang to? Uh, simple statics of rigid bodies lang. Kasi, mga internal forces lang. Okay, then reaction. Mga ganyan lang. Okay? Ah, uh, yes. Actually, ano rin. Pinagsama rin palang ano. Status of rigid bodies and strength of materials. Kasi meron na mga stresses eh, na involved. Okay? So, 1 over square root of 2. So, 8.49. Yeah. So, 8.5. Kilo Newton. So, sana dito lagi yung ano, no, mga given sa board exam. Eh, di sana ang delete na. <laughs> Ayan. Number 3. What is the minimum required volt diameter? Millimeter at A, if the load W is equivalent to 3.6 kN, apply a factor of safety of 2. Okay, so, gusto natin makuha yung ano, no? Both diameters sa point A. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nating makuha yung overall reaction nito, yung resultant niya. So, tawagin natin yun as RA. Okay, kasi kung both diameter tayo, kailangan natin makuha yung area based on the Ano? Uh, shear stress. Okay? Ayan. Meron naman tayong ano yung allowable volt shear stress na 60 megapascal. So, shear stress is equivalent to shear force over area. Dito manggagaling yung ano? Yung ating volt diameter sa area. Okay. So, kailangan natin yung shear force which is equivalent to RA. Ayan. And, uh, hindi naman tayo double shear kasi based on the given typical connection, single shear lang tayo. So, ito yung ating, ano, um, RA. Ayan. So, yung magiging, ano, natin dyan, uh, shear force is ito. Isa lang. Kaya, V is equivalent to RA lang. Ayan. So, by summation of forces horizontal, based on W na 3.6, ang ating AH is equivalent to BH na 6 kN. Tapos, kailangan nating mag-summation of forces vertical is equivalent to 0 dito. 
sa point ano no? sa point B para makuha natin yung AB na no? uh, I mean makuha mo ng BB bago makuha yung AB so sa mission of force vertical is equivalent to zero up part is positive at ano to ba at joint B so uh, ang PBC natin ay ito is ano 8.49 no so 8.49 downward 8.49 multiplied by 1 over square root of 2 ah okay so ibig sabihin parehas lang ang ano ang BB and BH is equivalent to 6 kilo newton kasi parehas lang naman sila di ba 45 degrees kasi siya ayan so ibig sabihin okay plus BB ang ating BB is equivalent to uh, 6 kilo newton ayan So, by summation of forces or uh, vertical at full structure, ayan, at full structure, makukuha natin ng ano, AB. Though, ang BV kasi is ano, ano, BV kasi is upward, ang 3 kN, uh, 3.6 kN na W is downward. So, ibig sabihin, ang mas mahina yung ano, ano, yung downward. Kaya, ang AB natin is magiging downward. Then, ang RA natin, ang direction nito ngayon is, ah yes, ito pala. Ang EH pala natin dapat is to the, ano, to the left. Ayan, EH. So, to the left, ganito yung ating RA. Okay. So, uh, negative AB, then minus 3.6, then plus 6 kilo newton. Is equivalent to zero. So, 2.4. Then, transpose natin ng AB magiging positive 2.4 kN. Okay, ito to the left. Ito naman is downward. So, ngayon, makukuha na natin ang RA by simple Pythagorean theorem. Meron tayong vertical and horizontal. So, Pythagorean theorem lang yun. So, 2.4 squared plus AH na 6. Okay, sa so 6 squared. So, 6.46 kilo newton. So, makukuha na natin ngayon yung area. Okay. Ang area is equivalent to shear stress over RA. Siguro dito na lang. Yeah. Area, 60 megapascal then over RA na 6.46. Then, times 10 raised to 3. Yan. Ah, wait lang. Balik. Tad, pala. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, 6.46 times 10 raised 3 over shear stress. Ayan. So, balik tad ito. Uh, RA pala yung taas. Then, over shear stress. So, 107.667. So, this is millimeter squared. So, okay. So, bulk diameter is D is equivalent to square root of 4A over pi. So, galing to sa ano ba? A is equivalent to pi over 4 d squared. Ayan. So, sinerpet na lang natin siya. Oops, wait lang. May nakakalimutan tayo. Apply a factor of safety of 2 millimeters. But anyway, yung wala mo ng ano, sige, factor of safety. Sob muna natin. So, 4 multiplied by A, 107.667 over pi. Ayan. So, 11.71. So, let's say this is equivalent to 12 millimeter diameter. So, ito, take note, ha? Without, okay? Without factor of safety. So, paano naman kapag may factor of safety? So, ang factor of safety kasi, siguro, saan natin lalagay? Sige, usog na lang natin itong ano, solution natin na ito. Yeah. So, kapag may factor of safety kasi, ang ating factor of safety is equivalent to, kung shear force tayo, no? Okay, so shear force over yung ating reaction at A. Ayan. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, um, hmm, parang theoretical shear or theoretical value over yung actual value. Ayan. Okay? Ganun yung ano, parang ito kasi actual eh, di ba, RA. Saan ba nang galing ang RA based on the loading? So, ibig sabihin, 
ito yung nasa ilalim actual loadings okay or depende kung ano man yung ano natin uh, given okay so actual loadings then ito theoretical loadings okay Yan. So, makukuha natin yung shear force natin based on our factor of safety. Ang ating factor of safety is 2. Then, multiplied by RA na 6.46. So, this is 12.92 kilo newton. So, masasolve natin ngayon yung area. So, shear force na 12.92 times 10 raised 3 over 60 megapascal na allowable shear stress. So, 215.333. Yan, millimeter squared. So, masasag na natin ngayon yung D with factor of safety. Ito. Yan. So, 215.333. So, 16.56. Millimeter diameter. So, ito with factor of safety. So, anong tamang sagot? Ang sagot kasi dun sa ano, sa... Uh, reference is 16 mm. So, bakit? Kasi daw yung nasa ano, nasa given. Um, kasi hindi tayo pwedeng ano eh, hindi tayo pwedeng mag less than sa 6.56 kasi based on the requirements, apply, apply a factor of safety ng 2. So, ang nakuha natin is 16.56. So, hindi tayo pwedeng bumaba dyan. Okay, hindi tayo pwedeng bumaba kasi yun yung required. Okay, ito yung required na 16.56. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan tumaas tayo dyan para makuha natin na, or I mean, para maging safe yung ating connection at point A. Yun ang ibig niya sabihin. Ngayon, ang nangyari with factor of safety, 16.56, kung itataas natin siya, 17 mm. So, wala siya sa given. Then, kung itataas pa natin, pwede na rin yung ano, 18 mm diameter. Kaso, wala siya sa choices. Based to sa reference, ha? Ayan. So, wala siya sa choices. So, kung wala siya sa choices, uh, meron pang mas mataas sa 18 mm. Yun yung 20 mm diameter. Kaso, masyado na siyang mataas. Okay, masyado na siyang malayo dito sa 16.56. Ang mangyari, magiging over-design yung ating ano, connection sa point A. So, hindi natin pwede tanggapin yung 20 mm. So, ngayon, kung ang pagbabasihan natin is yung ano, without factor of safety, 12 mm lamang yung required. I, I mean, 11.71 mm diameter lamang yung required. Uh, so, ibig sabihin, kung itataas natin yan, 12 mm. So, ibig sabihin, kung wala mang factor of safety at ang pipiliin natin ay 16 mm diameter, okay? Ibig sabihin, safe tayo. Bakit? Kasi, kung wala tayong factor of safety, ang required lang naman ay 12 mm diameter. Kaya, Ang ginawa nilang sagot dyan is ang ating ano, minimum. Isa pa. Yes. Ang minimum required naman eh. Yeah, minimum required ball diameter. Actually, kung without ano, factor of safety, ang minimum natin is ano, uh, 12 mm diameter. So, mag -ex ano, siguro wala rin to sa ano, choices. So, ang, naka, ang nandun sa choices, ang pinakamaliit is 16 mm diameter. So, ito yung sagot. Ayan. Okay, so ganun lang siya kasi so pinagsama-sama lang to na concept ng stresses and pagkuha ng reaction sa statics of rigid bodies. Okay? So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video, please subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon for notifications and update on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!